Installation and setup. Necessary tools. Place the disc rotor on the hub mounting surface and align the holes. Ensure that the arrow on the disc rotor is pointing in the direction of the wheel rotation. Install the new disc rotor screws and tighten them lightly using T25 Torx wrench. Sequentially tighten all the screws in a star pattern to 6 nm. Remove the lever clamps and bolts. Fit the lever body to the handlebar and adjust the angle and location to the rider's preference. Secure the lever with the clamp and tighten the bolts to 2 nm using the 3 mm hex wrench. Secure the hose to the fork or frame following the correct hose routing and attachment points defined by the fork and frame manufacturers. Attach the caliper to the fork or frame mount using FSA caliper bolts. Do not tighten the bolts and ensure that the caliper is free to move. Reinstall the wheel. Squeeze the lever several times until it feels firm, then hold it in position or secure with rubber bands or a toe strap. Loosely tighten the caliper bolts, then release the lever. Spin the wheel and check the clearance between the brake pads and rotor. Make small adjustments to the caliper alignment by loosening just one caliper bolt at a time. Once the caliper is centered, tighten the caliper bolts to 6.0 to 7.0 nm using the 5 mm hex wrench. Wipe down the brake lever, caliper, and rotor with denatured isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free rag. 